Howdy folks, Steve here. How you doing? Today I have got quite a task in front of me and I'm getting started very late uh, for a number of reasons, but I want to do it today. And that is this. So, the Mighty Magic Trailer here. And this side over here with my tall tool garage or my large tool garage. This side actually about, I guess it was about four weeks ago now, uh, I was on my way to a job site, went over, I think, uh, cut, cut something a little too sharp, went over a curb and also hit a pretty severe pothole that I had, n I had no idea it was there. And with all of that, and that's not the first time I've ever done anything like that, and it's not the second or the third. Not that I drive like a maniac, but once in a while I'm just not paying attention, over a curb, even going slowly, and certainly I've had this on the road all the way to way south, southern states and back. And three hour drives, six hour drives, you know, I mean, I've had this places. All in all, problem is this. I got to the job site, opened it up. This side had completely detached from the wall and shifted into the aisle by about two, three, two or three inches or something like that. Nothing spilled out, nothing otherwise, it just moved over. And so I did what I could because it's heavy, completely filled, it's incredibly heavy. So I pushed it all back, you know, by leveraging myself and got it against the wall so I had the aisle way and I did what I needed to do that day. At the end of the day, uh, what what few screws I can actually see that go into the sidewall over here tried to take the old ones out put new ones in just to get it secured um, a few days later um, I don't know it's, I, I'm, I don't think I hit the same pothole but anyway did something else a little bit too aggressive driving and it shifted again and I knew it wasn't completely secure I was looking for temporary and I got a few days temporary but anyway it shifted over again and I can see right now it is actually separated from the wall by about an inch. So today, unload, get to all of the screws, take everything out, shift it back, try and figure out where the, uh, the studs are in the aluminum wall here um, behind uh, the USB, and then get it completely resecured and then load it back up again. Along the way, I can inventory, maybe I can purge a little bit, and I can do a little bit of filming. Uh, so that's what I've got going on today. And so I'm just going to take you along for the ride to the repair of this thing. And I'll just have you, I'll just show you on the way what's going on. Thanks for sticking with me. If you would like and subscribe and talk along the way. To the endeavor of getting everything unloaded, everything as, as much as I need to, in order to easily move it and do what I need to do. I set up a temporary table up here and I have my workbench over there. So I have flat surface in order to kind of stack things up. Okay, here we go. Let's get this thing unloaded. I know I have some grab and go, but other than that, the weight is really out of it. That's that's inconsequential. So, what all did I unload? I'm just, let's do a quick fly around. Small tool garage and the open drawers, all in there. A couple of miscellaneous things that were just in the way. From there, I was able to simply remove the big drawer and the levels. The miter stand and all of that went on top. 
as well as my two large tools and then the cubby that fit those two saw horses. Removing the electric was simply a matter of convenience. There's the bulk hardware. And there is the rest of the hardware store along with just a few other things. <laughs> I, will be, I will say I am honestly completely surprised I have that much, listen, like that much and that much hardware. I knew I had a lot, but I have never had it all out at once in one area to actually physically see it. Oh my God, too much. I, I will agree with anybody that says too much, but it's one of those things to where, what do you cut? Because it's all like really good stuff to use, especially if you need it. So it'll all probably go back and I'll consolidate if I can. And there may be some really weird things that I can just eliminate. Okay, so now this side, I'll, I'll flip this around. So this side, that was beautiful. I could just take out that big drawer and that's what it looks like inside, by the way, just to let you know, I have relieved the sides of as much weight as I can. And then in here, just, oh, I'll grab those boxes. And I'll grab those boxes, but that's completely done. This is empty. This is what my large tool garage would look like. Drywall shelf and so on and so forth. That's the drawer with the hardware, just to keep all the jars kind of from sliding around and becoming discombobulated. And then everything else is clear down there. And then this uh, rack of hardware and chemicals all the way down, that's all cleaned out. And then just out of convenience, I moved all that. So I am ready to move this as far as I can this way as a unit because it's all tied together as a cabinet set. So it'll move as a unit. I will locate all the screws, get those all backed out. I will locate the studs and then I will figure out how to transfer those numbers into the cabinet itself. And then from there, I will reattach the thing. It's going to be an issue that's lasted four years-ish. Yeah, four years as it was and it literally just came apart now after all of that driving and I'm, I'm careful but I'm not I'm not careful <laughs> so I think I can get this re reattached for the next two years and that's all I need this to do is to go for me two years and then after that I use this trailer to build out the next trailer which will be bigger better faster it'll be bigger uh, and this is six by this is a six by ten, and that will be an eight by twelve, so eight and a half, eight and a half wide, twelve long, and it will be much taller. So I'm going to go for height, whatever height I can get without being like super ignorant. Then because that's just real estate, that's that's lost real estate if you have a short trailer. But if you have a taller trailer, why not? Because then you can go a higher and and whatever. So, all right, that's what I've got going on. So one thing I've noted, which I remembered, is that all the studs are actually marked out. Uh, I did that for installation. And what I believe I did was I installed cabinets. Actually, I can't tell you. I'm pretty sure, though, I might have installed like a cabinet and then put the other two, screwed those together, and then got that last cabinet. Because honestly, five screws. That's all there are. And there are not a bunch of connection points. And so I understand why there are only five, because some are someplace are inconvenient. And my drawers are just wide enough to where they are very difficult to take out. That's a problem that I did not acknowledge when I was building the thing. I already had the drawers made. I was doing it by the plans and the drawers are like 24 inches, like 23 and change in my Iowa is 23 and change. And so it, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't work well to take those drawers out. So I'm pretty sure that's why I never bothered with the drawers out. You might have a couple of more connection points. And so five screws. So I'm not surprised that after four years, it detached from the wall. So I will put it all back, try and get a few more screws in, and then 
put it all back. Oh boy. Good day. I didn't put any of those screws out of the wall outside, so we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine screws in the thing, and and so I believe this is firmly attached again. Yay! Now I can load it back up.
hey folks, I was editing this video and realized I didn't have an ending for it. I just kind of, I just, you know, I just kind of ended up, you know, organizing stuff and that was it. So this is that ending. Thank you very much for sticking with me. I do really appreciate that. Uh, it was worth it. Uh, it, I think all in all about six hours. Uh, I think I started it down at like two in the afternoon, ended at eight, three to nine, something like that. And I did take the time to shoot a couple of videos in the middle of all that since I had inventory out. So it, you know, it's, it took that long, but I was really happy to do it. I was able to condense a lot of things. I was able to re-inventory some of the drawers I don't get into. I have a lot of specialty tools that and, uh, allowed me to kind of catch up and inventory my specialty tools and things that I just don't use all that often. And, you know, like siding tools and gutter tools and, and, uh, bending tin for, uh, heating duct and all that kind of stuff. So it was, it was productive. It was time consuming to unload all of this and reload it but it was necessary and it was valuable in the experience to realize what, you know, just kind of hit the reset button on what I had. Um, it, is, it was good. Glad I did it. Uh, a major trailer repair for me. So I uh, happy to have it done. Hope I don't have to do it again. I've got two more years with this trailer before I go bigger, better, faster, bigger and better. Bigger, bigger. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for sticking with me, folks. I do really, really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Uh, I got a ton of stuff on my channel, a uh, ton of stuff about the trailer, ton of stuff about other things that I've done. Con contracting wise, it's all about tools and contracting and, and projects that I've been on for clients and myself. And it's always easier to film when I'm just doing my own projects. I really appreciate everything that you're doing uh, as far as uh, supporting me. It has really been a slam bang year for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all take care. Have a good one. You deserve it. Bye-bye. <laughs>